All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time though the title fight eluded him not anymore here he is the number one heavyweight contender finally making this walk and cracking a smile he's waited a long time for this he's not expecting a 25 minute war he believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly i guess we'll find out So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Jean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, presenting the challenger, Grandmaster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Abima the Eagle Magomeda. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kick, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice straight punch. 
Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. That was a thudding leg kick. How good is this? Wow. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, that's a nice strike. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how Habib lands early in the end. Tommy, his shot's nice in here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice shot inside by the champion. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Some nice back and forth action here. Leg kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Ooh, what a punch. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice defense there. Huge block. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. with the left. Just missed with the left there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Nice punch there by the Mago Meta. Slips. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Oh! Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. Slips. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Massive head kick. <laughs> Blocks the shot. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, big right hand. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Final seconds here of round one. Nice head kick. Right on the button. No Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go with our next round. 
lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Slips the left hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch landing, so much power. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? There it is, Tommy Fiber landing a knee with the body. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Straight right is there. Just out of range with that right hook. Nermako Medov gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he guy. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just misses with the straight right. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. That punch will work right through the guard. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nermago Meta. And he continues to work the body here. Flipped him with the right hand there. There's another one. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Not there. Went for the inside leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. That shot blocked by Nermago 
Mehmetov. Stop, stop, stop. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it. Oh. <laughs> and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Dermago Meadow. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Great punch. Great punches there. Solid time now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Back to the feet now. Big kick. Nermago Medov's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Pretty significant well to the left side. Effective punch there by Nermago Meta. A huge knee lands to the clinch. Able to land with the left hand. Got the single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. to avoid the right. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Ooh, big shot lands. That oh, big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Straight right, he misses. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Nice strike. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Nermago Medov. Leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back. Really mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. 
Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You are full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. We're switching stances here. But he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a fight so far. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice movement once. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. Big knee to the body. Oh! So once again, making good use of his reach advantage as he finds a hole for that jab yet again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, what a punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Uh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you have one knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, and he's back up again. Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Oh, on that punch right there. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys, you can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, closed guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Ground and pound strike there now. Back to his feet. more fun to watch 
in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go oh. get him. What a fight. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh takes him from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Mago Menov gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, you don't want to... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got pressure. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up to see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Close guard. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. And they both stand up. Look at the turnover in that kick. He is going a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And they separate. That's a big strike right there. One, two punch by Nermago Meta. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a critical oh. shot there. Exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gage will stop for this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle of Chicago Meadows. All right, so a big
big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.